Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to this video in our series on IGCSE and O-Level Accounting. Today we are going to learn about trial balances and the correction of errors. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Now that we have done some books, it's time for a trial balance. The definition of a trial balance is a list of the ending balances of all accounts at a given date. Its purpose is to check the arithmetic accuracy of the accounts and to aid in the preparation of the financial statements, namely income statement and statement of financial position. However, it does have limitations. A balanced trial balance does not mean that the entries in the accounts contain no errors. There are errors that are not revealed by a trial balance. The format of the trial balance is shown here. There is a link to download this in the description below. Remember, a trial balance is only on one date. Now let's look at a list of errors not affecting the trial balance. Firstly, error of omission. This is when the transaction is not recorded. An example would be, paid rent of $500 by check and this was not recorded in the books. Next, error of original entry. This is when the wrong amount was recorded. An example would be, the payment of rent of $500 by check was recorded in the books as $50. Now, error of commission. This is when the amount was recorded in the wrong accounts within the same account type. An example would be, the payment of rent of $500 was recorded to the wages account. Moving on, error of principal. This is when the amount was recorded in the wrong accounts under different account types. An example would be, the purchase of stationery for $300 was recorded to the fixtures account. Next, compensating error. This is when an error on the debit side of an account is offset by an error of the same amount on the credit side of another account. An example would be, both sales and discount allowed accounts are overcast by $150. Finally, error of complete reversal. This is when an amount is recorded on the wrong side of both accounts. The amount will be multiplied by two. An example would be, payment of rent $500 by check was wrongly credited to the rent account and debited to the bank account. Now let's look at the correction of errors. Firstly, the suspense account. What is the purpose? To temporarily balance a trial balance until the errors are discovered and corrected. To facilitate the preparation of draft financial statements. What recording do we make in the suspense account? Only errors affecting the balancing of the trial balance are corrected in the suspense account. Also, balances in suspense account debit the balance of assets and credit the balance liabilities. So let's do an example. The totals of company K's trial balance on June 30, 2020 did not agree. There was a shortage of $500 on the credit side. This was entered in a suspense account. The following errors were later discovered. A. Goods of $250 returned by the customer were omitted from the sales return account. B. Payment of $1,000 for wages was erroneously recorded to the stationary account. C. Interest of $120 received from the bank was debited to the interest account. D. Purchase of a printer for $500 was debited to the general expense account. E. A sales of $690 was recorded in the sales account as $960. F. Purchases of goods amounting to $80 were not recorded. Finally, correcting profit for the year. To correct the profit we need to 1. Record the profit or loss for the year before correction. 2. Add the errors that understate profit. 3. Subtract the errors that overstate profit. Then we get the corrected profit or loss for the year. Example time. Continuing from the previous example, the following errors were discovered. A. Goods of $250 returned by the customer were omitted from the sales return account. B. Payment of $1,000 for wages was erroneously recorded to the stationary account. 
C. The interest of $120 received from the bank was debited to the interest account. D. The purchase of a printer for $500 was debited to the general expense account. E. A sales of $690 was recorded in the sales account as $960. F. Purchases of goods amounting to $80 were not recorded. Profit for the year ended June 30, 2022 was $6,000. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.